It's a Barbie's world at the movies this summer as the iconic doll brand takes over cinemas with the release of the Barbie movie this Friday. But did you know this cultural force has a Wisconsin connection? Victor Acobo shares Barbie's Badger State roots. Deep in the halls of the Wisconsin Historical Society lie some of the Badger State's greatest treasures, both large and small. That includes one of the state's most famous native daughters, Barbara Millicent Roberts. You know her better as... Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Uh. Barbie. This summer, the iconic doll is the center of the cultural universe with the release of the Barbie movie. Hey, Barbie. Can I come to your house tonight? Sure. I don't have anything big planned, just a giant blowout party with all the Barbies and planned choreography and a bespoke song. You should stop by. So cool. Before Barbie made Malibu her permanent residence for her dream house, dream car, and, well, dream everything else, her roots originate in Wisconsin. Barbie's from Willows, Wisconsin, which is a fictional town. She was first introduced as being from Willows in a series of books that came out in the 1960s. Abby Nordehau is a state archivist and director of acquisitions at the Wisconsin Historical Society. The Wisconsin Historical Society's mission is to share stories and connect people to their past. So um, Barbie's got a classic childhood story. She showed us one of the original Barbies that was bought by grandparents Orville and Frances Fox of Oshkosh in 1961. And they purchased that so that when their granddaughter Beth came to visit, she'd have a toy to play with. Back then, the doll cost just $3. Barbie dressed for swim and fun is only $3. Her lovely fashions range from $1 to $5. Look for Barbie wherever dolls are sold. But throughout the years, Toymaker Mattel has kept Barbie's Wisconsin origins in her official biography. And it's by no accident. Uh, one of um, Ruth Handler's ideas was that little girls should be able to see themselves in Barbie and they should be able to think about their future and kind of dream about their future. And I think centering Barbie in Wisconsin makes that really attainable for a lot of little girls to really see themselves in the Midwest, see, um, see kind of that all-American nature of Barbie. In 1959, when Mattel brought out Barbie, this was a post-war America. And there was a lot of advertising and marketing around the American ideal. And what Dr. The Christine Whelan is a like. clinical professor so of consumer really science at UW-Madison. To be born in Willows, Wisconsin, well, that was sort of an all-American city, right? No matter the Barbie doll, the Barbie clothes, the Barbie accessories, children can, as the song goes, use their imagination and make a life of their creation. Barbies are a doll that the young girl can project onto, and you play with it and really create your own vision of what the American dream looks like for you. What that American dream looks like has changed over the decades. Barbie was a familiar target of criticism for portraying unrealistic beauty standards. But now, the brand has worked to become more inclusive. She really kind of grows with our culture. Each generation puts their own spin, their own, uh, their own flavor on what it means to have an American dream and what the American dream looks like. So as the summer of Barbie takes the world by storm, Wisconsinites can watch the silver screen with pride, knowing Barbie is one of us and what she represents. Barbie is this mix of materialism, so the clothes, the accessories, the shoes, the house, but also idealism and hope for the future, career, aspirations, purpose, and meaning. and. That, I think, is why she's been such a success. It's a great message that you can have it all in some ways. Humans only have one ending. Get that Barbie! Ideas live forever.